Good morning, you guys. Ooh, it's early. I haven't done a show this early in a little bit. Let's see, it's 7 a.m. I have to leave here in about 10 minutes. This is going to be a routine layover flight attendant vlog. This is going to be not so much about seeing the sights and getting out there and exploring a city. This is going to be about how on a layover, I stick to staying healthy and achieving my goals and basically having a home away from home lifestyle on a layover. And of course, we're going to San Francisco. That city is the absolute easiest place for me to be able to do this. So many of my vlogs, I'm taking you guys with me to do something fun and interesting in a city either that I've been to. Like earlier this year, I was doing all San Francisco layovers and I was trying to do something different every layover I was there kind of acting like a tourist in a city that I've been to a million times. But this time it's just going to be about how I keep a routine, how I stay healthy. I personally love this kind of content. I find it comforting and I find it motivational. So I'm gonna share it with you guys too. This is a lot of like my old style vlogging from 2000, 20, 21, mostly those two years. And we're gonna kind of go back to it a little bit this month. But I'm drinking coffee. I just made a double shot of espresso with some milk, honey, and cinnamon. I'm packing two boiled eggs, an apple, because it's seasoned for apples. For a snack, I have these boulder chips, buffalo ranch. They're pretty good, and I dip them in the kava tzatziki. Have a little bit of that left over. And then for lunch, this is kind of a random meal, but I have these little like cauliflower chicken tenders and then butternut squash. I don't know if you can see it. Something easy. Mezcla protein bar because I love these. As y'all know, I feel like I mention them in every vlog. And then these are some leftover cookies that I made, the Capello's cookies. Grain free, refined sugar free, but still really good. And then I'm bringing this giant thing of Harmless Harvest coconut water because I've been really bad about being on top of my hydration lately. And that's one thing I really wanna work on. So I'm bringing this with me. And I found these at Whole Foods the other day. It's like Girl Scout cookie flavored coffee. This is silly. I loved Girl Scout cookies growing up. I rarely ever have them now. So when I saw these in the grocery store, Girl Scout cookie flavored coffee, I was like, okay, I'll try it. Okay, let's request this Uber. Let's get to the airport. I'm working with an entire crew of people that I know, thank goodness. And it is a good crew, so I'm very grateful for that. All people that I like. Well, for the first half, I don't know the crew that I have coming back. We're kind of switching things up right now, and the crew that I have coming back are from JFK. I've never met them, but for today, people that I know and like. Uber is four minutes away. Let me put this stuff in my lunch bag and let's go. not back in my hotel room, officially in my hotel room. I was just on this layover, so I guess that's why I'm saying back in my hotel room, but I love my view, except Carl the Fog is here to visit, so it's a little bit foggy out there. Golden Gate Bridge is over there, but you can't see it because of all the fog. Oh well. I'm on the 22nd floor. I love this hotel because I just get the absolute best views. I need to take a little nap. I didn't sleep great last night. I woke up around 3 a.m. and I just couldn't get back to sleep. So I'm gonna give myself like an hour and a half nap, I think, and then head back out and we're gonna walk. But the flight was easy. I ate my two boiled eggs. I didn't end up eating the stuff I brought for lunch. Maybe I'll have some of that tomorrow, we'll see. But I did bring, or I did end up eating overnight oats that we had on the plane. And we had these like peach farro pancakes. I ate some of those too, they were really good. And then I had my seaweed snacks and the Mez Club bar. I didn't even show the seaweed snacks, but that's what I had so far for food. I did not drink enough water. I drank a ton of caffeine, so I have my coconut water with me. I'm gonna try to drink a lot of that drink some regular water also when I wake up because I need to hydrate like in the middle of taking my scarf off. And then we'll see if I'll hold off until dinner. I might need more food. We'll see. I wanna have an early dinner so that I'm not eating late and then trying to sleep because I wanna get a good night's rest. The flight was great. I'm working with an absolutely great crew. Couldn't ask for more, honestly. It makes the day go by so much faster. But okay, I'll stop rambling and take this little nap. God bless the blackout curtains in here. I'm high maintenance even for my naps, just like my sleep. So I have this little base bag and inside 
if you watch my vlogs, you've seen this before, but we have white noise machine, skinny confidential, mouth tape. I sleep with mouth, eye mask. <laughs> this eye mask I got from Olipop in a PR package, which is so cute. Olipop for when they came out with ginger ale. Earplugs, I need all of this, even for a little nap. And then I've got some lavender oil in there that I use sometimes, more earplugs. A cord for my white noise machine. But I, where is it? I have this baby and it just plugs in everything, my phone, my iPad, my white noise machine. And another thing I cannot sleep without is socks. I like tuck my pajama pants into my socks. These are the Barefoot Dream socks. Sorry, I'm distracted by how pale I am right now. It gets really cold in these specific hotel rooms, so I have to sleep with socks. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and end up taking them off, but all right, enough. I look like Casper. Okay, we're awake. I had a snack. I had my little, I'm pulling it out of the trash. I had my little, Boulder Batch, Buffalo Ranch chips with the kava. I keep feeling like my jaw is about to pop lately. Anyway, with the kava tzatziki sauce. Also, my face is really red. I did not drink enough water on the flight, like I said. So I'm trying to finish that coconut water, drinking water. I'm so red. The view is still gorgeous. But the sun is out for the most part and I'm ready to go outside and walk. I wanna go to the water and I just wanna walk. That's what I wanna do so bad. I'm in my layover uniform, legging my Asics that I'm gonna get rid of because there's a hole in them. And I just bought new shoes for walking. Hoodie and this little leather fanny pack that I got off Amazon. I'm pretty sure I have it linked in my storefront, Amazon storefront. Okay, it's 3.16. The 30 minutes was honestly enough. Like, I slept 30 minutes and then my eyes flew open and I was ready to go. And I was like, okay, there's no point in hanging around and not taking advantage of the day if I'm not gonna fall asleep anymore. So I decided to get up and get ready. I did forget to mention the flight over here. It was only like, I think the exact flight time was five hours and 16 minutes. When I was here over the weekend, it was literally an hour longer than that. It was so long. So it was really nice getting in early. We did have a plane at our gate. That's the only downside about getting in early, but we still ended up pulling into our gate a little over 30 minutes early. So it's still good, but okay. Let's go outside. This hill right here is the bane of my existence. But I always do it every time I'm in San Francisco and I do my little walk. This is like the Giardelli Square. I love it over here though. I've been walking here for years. You used to be able to go out on that little pier, but they have it all closed off now. I think the the like structure of it is too weak. I know it's so windy here, but this might be my favorite view on my walk. Okay, I was listening to The Skinny Confidential. I've listened to a few podcasts so far today on my walk. Right now I'm listening to The Skinny Confidential. It's episode 763, The Truth About Supplements, Misleading Claims and What You Must Look Out For, featuring Dr. Nima, I'm not saying that last name, and Katrina something, Schneider. Okay, okay, it's all about, I mean, it's in the title, supplements, how to know how to choose the right ones, the best quality, ones that aren't BS. It's really interesting. The food was so good. So I got this truffle turkey sandwich and I was thinking about it all day. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. I fully expected to only eat half of it and to only want the other half for later. No, I like plowed through the whole thing because I walked so much. I hit 11 miles, over 11 miles today. I'm at 20 something, 20,000 steps exactly, I think. I love walking along the water here. So like Chrissy Field, Giardelli Square, like I'll start at Giardelli Square, 
go all the way up. Sometimes I go all the way to the bridge and come all the way back when I have like a good amount of energy. Today I didn't have a lot of energy. There were a lot of times when I just stopped and sat on a bench and just watched the seals in the water or people kite surfing. What's it called when it's like, it's not kite surfing, but it's like a little sail attached to a, attached to a surfboard. Uh, I forgot what that's called. Windsurfing, kite surfing and windsurfing, whatever. Anyway, so watching all the cute little dogs. There's so many dogs and they're all so cute. That is one of the things that makes me the happiest on that walk is all of the adorable little dogs. There's so many big ones too. There were great Danes out there. So cute. Anyway, and then I got my sandwich at Blue Barn. And now I'm tired. Okay, I brought my laptop. I was gonna come back and I was like, I'm gonna edit. I always do this. I plan to edit on a layover and then I get so tired when I get back to the hotel after all that walking that I just want to go to sleep. And it is about bedtime now. I feel like wearing this black t-shirt. Look at, I look so, I'm like transparent. I'm so white. Okay, all of that being said, time to read. I just took a shower, I doused myself in this lotion. So this is the lotion that I've been using. I absolutely cover my entire body with it. Whenever I get out of the shower on my layovers, I really like this by Necessaire. You can get it at uh, Sephora. If I remember, I'll try to put a link for it, but it's a pretty popular brand. My deodorant, this is the best scent. Black Rose and Ode by Salt and Stone. This is a really good like fall and winter scent. This is my little makeup eraser kit that I got for like keeping my hair back. And then obviously this is to prevent water from running down your wrists. This is very much like a consumerism buy, but the water running down my wrists is my biggest pet peeve for when I'm washing my face. It always makes the biggest mess. And then down here, this is also by makeup eraser. This is, see I have this one up here. They're these little sheep and it comes, it's so cute. I put all of this together in the same bag, but it's this little bag that has these little makeup remover. I So, okay, I don't know why I can't like get it out, but I use this oil cleanser and then I wipe all my makeup off with this. And this just gets everything off really well. I like using these as opposed to just using the hotel ones all the time. You know, hotels use bleach constantly and I'm, I'm really trying not to use that on my face regularly. I use obviously the towels and whatnot, but when it comes to my face, I'm just trying to be a little bit more gentle and cautious of what it is I'm putting on my skin. So I bring my own and then I keep my clean ones in this little mesh area and then I'll wring this out and let it dry overnight and then just throw it back in the bag because it'll be dry by then. I do like to take magnesium before I go to bed. When I'm at home, I do magnesium powder, but when I'm on a layover, I take these magnesium gummies. It says it on the bottle. Supports stress, relaxing, heart, muscles, blah, 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 bones, nerves, but it really does help you sleep and it helps relax your muscles and just relax your body overall. I really like these. Okay, it's time for my noise machine to go on. I need to make it very cold in here. Get in the bed set my alarm for early 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 my little dr seuss cartoon very early so that we can start the day tomorrow i think i'm getting uh breakfast with friends tomorrow my friend alessio is here he's been in my vlogs before he's been in my san francisco vlogs specifically because he and i both absolutely love it here he's out and about in castro tonight of course he's always out in castro living his best bear life but i love him and i can't wait to see him tomorrow Good morning. It is so pretty outside. Oh, the moon finally went all the way down. But the sun is rising. I can see the tiniest, I don't know if you can see it, but the tiniest glimpse of the Golden Gate Bridge through the buildings. My face is still kind of red. I don't really know why my face is so red the past couple days. But I'm wearing my favorite sweater, the San Francisco sweater. I love this jacket, or this jacket, this sweater so much. It's cold out, so I've got like a little shirt on under it. I'm debating if I wanna wear a hat or not. I might just put on sunglasses and go. I don't, I don't feel like I look really puffy this morning. So last night, I slept eight and a half hours. I slept really, really good last night. Eight and a half hours, I feel rested. Let's see, it's 7.30, so I'm gonna run grab coffee. I'm trying to drink water. Two things I always have on when I'm running around on my layovers is this 
the caffeinated sunscreen by the skinny confidential this stuff is amazing it's like a tinted moisturizer too and then i have to have my lumify eye drops these i mean especially the way i woke up this morning with my eyes all red these just brighten everything up. I'm mad I didn't bring another protein bar because I would eat that right now, but I'm gonna have a couple bites of a chompstick because I'm trying to get protein in my body before I have coffee right away, just on an empty stomach. Let's get outside, it's absolutely stunning out there. I just tried to eat the chompstick. It tasted so bad. It was just like really fatty and left a film around my mouth. But I'm going to Phil's Coffee. Phil's Coffee is my favorite coffee spot in well, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's a favorite. And I don't know what I'm gonna get. I always get the mint mojito. It's like this minty, creamy coffee, but they have fall flavors out right now. Like vanilla spice kind of sounds good. So I don't really know. I guess we'll see. I guess it'll be a surprise. Oh my God. Bob's Donuts is the most tempting place on Polk Street. With the strawberries. It was actually so good just hanging out with them. I got a very basic breakfast and I realized I forgot to film it It was eggs over medium bacon some hash browns sourdough toast, but we went over to Bob's donuts They got donuts. I did not get any donuts and then we just we talked for so long It was really nice and really fun I hadn't seen Alessio in a while and then it was my first time really getting to like hang out and chat with Brittany She's really cool, but I want to get in a few more miles before I have to be back. I need to be back here by like 11.40. So I only have like an hour, honestly, to walk around. I need to get out there. All right. Okay, makeup's done. I literally just laid on the bed for a little over an hour while I was getting, while I was like just resting for work. I just wanted to chill. I didn't end up doing like the whole 10 miles. I'm a little over five miles right now, which is fine, but I got the van time mixed up and I thought, I needed to be back before I was. It's 1.40, well it's 1.30 right now. My van time is at 1.40. But I did my makeup. I'm wearing a darker lipstick because it is fall, so why not? And I'm using the Merit Signature Lip and it's in the color Classic. I really like it. I have a darker lip liner on under it. I think I have, I think it's Universal Earth by Makeup Forever lip liner. I'm wearing Merit's new, I have a sample of Merit's new Fragrance it hasn't come out yet, but it smells so good. It smells like pear. Oh, it's very sophisticated I love pear scents. It comes out October 11. No, October 22nd and I might have to have the bottle I don't know. I told myself I was gonna stop buying fragrances, but that just smells so good Anyway peak vitamin C elderberry syrup. I've been taking that for my skin. My skin has been pretty I mean, it was red and flushed, but overall, skin's been looking a lot better, a lot more clear, which has been nice. And I think it's because of this. I do need to be better about my water intake. I've been trying to be better, but it's still not enough. Yesterday, I think that's why I felt kind of crappy yesterday. I was dehydrated and I had had way too much caffeine. We're going to the airport. I don't have any food with me today. I'm really hoping I have time to grab something at the airport. I'm gonna try to go to proper food and get some of the steak that they have. I have an apple with me and yeah, I really need food. If we run short on time, I'll do the order ahead for the chicken tenders at Starboard. The chicken tenders at Starboard aren't that bad for you though. The breading is all paleo, but I would rather get something like the steak and veggies from proper food. And I kind of want to juice from them too. It's time to go. I was debating while I was laying on the bed, I was like, you know what, should I even post this? This is such a like boring, pointless vlog. But then I was like, no, I'm posting it because I want to share the boring, pointless stuff too of being a flight attendant. Not every layover has to be some grand adventure and I want to share that. I want to share that aspect of my life with you guys, the day in, the day out, because that's the kind of stuff that I like watching other people post and just routine content i guess but my arm is getting tired holding up this camera i need to work out my arms and shoulders more oh and i'm also going to take this little ginger shot before i walk out the door okay 
Let's go to the airport. Okay, I just got home. I am so excited. You guys, okay. Flight was great, yeah, 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 flight was great. Worked with the JFK crew in the front of the aircraft, which usually, like, that's not a normal thing, but this month it is. I think part of next month, it's like that too. I had a really cool crew. I really liked the people I was working with today. The flight was pretty chill, honestly. It was a little busy in the beginning. Anyway, I could go on talking about the flight for forever. It was a nice flight. But I came home to a package that I was not expecting. I got a notification that I got a package. So speaking of merit, like I was talking about before I got home, or before I, I can't think, before I went to go get in my van to the airport, I was trying their new perfume, which I'm obsessed with. This video will be out by the time the perfume is for sale, I believe. But... Ironically, I got a notification that I got a package and I haven't ordered anything and lo and behold this I just opened it. This is the package and It's their great skin set. How do they even know my color? I did not fill this out I usually okay when they send me like gifting I usually hear about it first, like they tell me what they've sent me or that something's coming in the mail, which is really nice. But I didn't receive any email for this. They know my color because they sent the right color of the complexion stick. This is an ochre, okra, ochre. This is what I use when I'm tan, but this is so nice. So I've been using the serum for a couple years now. I die for the serum. This came out earlier this year, the, um, Great Skin Moisturizer. I just ordered one of these, so now I have another one that I'm I'm nice and stocked up now, which I'm really pleased with. And then the complexion stick, and then this brush. This brush is amazing for blending it all together. This is really nice of them, and this is such a nice, this is such a nice box. Thank you, Merit. You have great skin. I don't know if that's, if you guys can read that. What a surprise, what a lovely little surprise. A little refresh of my favorite products from them. I want that perfume. I was low-key hoping that would be the perfume, but it's okay. I'm really happy it's the skin stuff because I love it. And I'll happily buy the perfume with my own money. Let me get out of this uniform. I'm gonna use an oil cleanser on my face to get the makeup off. I look tired, I feel. I just look so pale, I haven't been getting any sun. I'm gonna make my bedtime drink. I'll make it with you guys, I'll show you. Okay, don't judge my cabinet. I'm back from the shower, by the way. Don't judge my cabinet because it's kind of a mess in here, but I have my magnesium fizz. I have the Whole Foods 365 brand. I love sleeping with magnesium. My kitchen's a mess. And I put drops of valerian root and lemon balm in it. These are both really good for calming your nervous system. Valerian root makes me just feel really cozy before going to bed. I don't know how to describe it, but it really relaxes you. Okay, sorry if it's loud. This gets really loud, but my little hot water kettle. But I've got one scoop of the magnesium in here, and then I pour a tiny amount in here, let it fizzle up, because this, I'll show you guys in a second, it just fizzes up like crazy, but once I put some hot water in there, then I put, sorry, my phone's going crazy, then I put a little bit of room temperature water in there, because I don't want it super hot, I want to be able to drink it right away, but I still want it to be warm, and then I add my drops. I do like a full dropper of the valerian, maybe two sometimes, and the same thing with the lemon balm. I actually also have lavender that I use sometimes. I kind of rotate them out, but I consistently use valerian root. Okay, it's boiling, let's see. Ooh, it fizzes up a lot. There have been many times when I wasn't paying attention and I just poured a ton into the cup and it overflowed and got all over the counter. I poured a little bit too much water in here. It honestly tastes so good. Valerian root smells really bad, but don't let it fool you. It actually tastes pretty good, and so does lemon balm once you have it in your magnesium water. A primeira vez que eu te vi, menina Meu coração 
I just got back from Whole Foods. I wasn't gonna continue this vlog. I was gonna end it the other night, but I decided I would make these two layovers one big vlog instead of having to edit a whole bunch of little vlogs. I figured why not make these two routine layovers that I have one big vlog, one long vlog for you guys because I've been getting a lot of positive feedback when I post longer vlogs. The best vlog I've had performance wise was a 40 minute vlog in a long time. So I decided to make it a little bit longer. Cause I know you guys like that. A lot of you do anyway, but I just went to Whole Foods. I'm going to go through everything I bought. I kind of just bought some random stuff. I would say I already, Oh, you know what I forgot? I really screwed up. The whole reason I went to Whole Foods was to get tortillas and I completely forgot. Of course. Anyway, let's go over what I did get. I don't even know where to begin. Basic stuff. I got Papaya, some lemons, lemon for water in the morning, papaya, just because papaya tastes amazing. Papaya is super good for your gut, for your digestive health, your skin, so much. I got some avocados. I have birria and I'm going to, I wanted to have tacos, but now I can't because I didn't get the tortillas, whatever. But I have avocado to eat with that. I guess I can just eat the birria by itself, but I really wanted the tortilla shells to go with it. I got these pumpkin flavored perfect bars. I don't usually eat perfect bars, but they look good to me today. And I was just in the mood for a pumpkin one. And then I got my classic Mezcla bars. This is a newer flavor, the hot chocolate one. So that'll be interesting. And then the normal matcha one that I really like. I got some purely Elizabeth granola. I am going to be having this granola with my cottage cheese, berries, and maybe a little bit of honey drizzled on top. The purely Elizabeth granola is so good because I get the grain free. So it's like a nut granola. There's hardly any sugar in it and there's a lot of fiber and it's very filling. I got another Cosmic Crisp Apple. I got this jar of olives, oh my goodness. When I got home, I opened these up and I sat there and I almost had half the jar. They're so good. I love olives. I could just, like I said, just stand here and eat them all day. I had to force myself to put them away. My place is kind of a mess right now. Labna, 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 Labna. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I got this for my bell peppers to be dipped in. I got some fishwife tuna. The packaging is to die for. It's just so cute. And this is like the spicy one. I might make a little like tuna salad dip for some crackers. Coconut water for my smoothies. A white onion for the birria. Sourdough bread. I'm about to make myself some avocado toast right now. I got this little silicone wrap sheet. This is for when I make cookies because I've been using tin foil and I kind of want to stop using tin foil as much. Well, this is all taped, but you unroll it and it's just like a little silicone thing to put on your baking sheet. I like the Myers dish soap. I got it in the scent honeysuckle. Some buttermilk ranch because I got the little Applegate gluten-free chicken nuggets. We got some A2 milk, grass-fed. I was out of my avocado spray, so I got some of that. Primal Kitchen. I bought this mouthwash. I don't know, it looked interesting to me reading the ingredients. I got an ashwagandha tincture. Ashwagandha is amazing for stress regulation and cortisol regulation. I've been trying to find some energy drinks that don't have stevia or sucralose or even erythritol in it. I just don't want any of that. I just want either like real sugar or maybe like juice for sweetener. And this is what I found. I got the clean mint and honey yerba mate drink. I grabbed one of these yerba mate drinks. I really like yerba mate. I like the way it makes me feel. This is the guayaki. I think is how you say it. I got it in cranberry pomegranate flavor. That feels very fall to me, cranberry pomegranate. I got this Ardor Energy one, vanilla blackberry. And then I grabbed this one. This is just lemon tea, yerba mate, clean brand. I bought these wipes. I've never seen these before, these bamboo wipes. Botanical bam booty wipes, 99% purified water. I got a new Awala bottle because mine broke and I actually saw this color and really liked it. This like purple combo. I'm not usually a purple person, but look at my new shoes. You guys, I'm freaking out over these shoes. These are the on cloud shoes. These like recently came out. My Awala bottle matches them perfectly. I'm obsessed. So I tried ultras and I did like them, but I I don't know, I started to get kind of tired of my ultras. And then I have a pair of Asics that I've been using on my layovers, but I want something, I usually use Hoka's, but I've been wanting to switch it up and try different shoes. I've tried on clouds before and I didn't like it because of the way the bottom was, rocks would get stuck in them. But this one is different. Rocks can't really get stuck in this at all. Um, and these, like the holes are just in a different place. 
so I don't really have to worry about these anymore or I don't really have to worry about the rocks getting stuck in them anymore anyway I love them and they don't have laces which is kind of cool too it's just these like little stretchy things which is funny because I never undo my laces on my shoes I never tie my shoes I just keep them the same and just slip my feet in and out all the time okay let me put this stuff back in the fridge I'm making some avocado toast because I'm really hungry I haven't really eaten today and then I'm going to sit and force myself to edit for like three hours at least. No, but yes. Maybe. It's Maybe, not yeah. Actually, I actually think it's kind of crazy that you... You feel obligated to share a bed with bed for the rest of your lives. I'm watching... I'm watching, um... Chicken Shop Date with Amelia de Moldenberg. How do you say her name? De Moldenberg. De Moldenberg. De Moldenberg. I don't know. Anyway, I'm watching Chicken Shop Date with her and Andrew Garfield. I have been waiting for this episode. If anyone like followed the bit that they have, not even a bit, they just have crazy chemistry. And it's so funny, cause she's like interviewed him on the red carpet, but watching them do the Chicken Shop Date interviews that she does, I feel like I'm actually watching someone's first date. It's so funny. They have so much chemistry. And they're both just so likable, in my opinion. I'm, like, kicking my feet over here watching it. But I'm making my food for tomorrow. So I don't want to eat any of the food on the airplane. I just want to eat what I have. The food on the airplane is tasty, but I just can't eat it all the time. So we've got cottage cheese. We're going to throw in some of the purely Elizabeth granola. Gonna drizzle some honey onto the cottage cheese. And then we've got berries, blackberries, blueberries. We're gonna sprinkle it all on. I am doing very much of like a girl dinner tonight. And when I say girl dinner, like, I mean it in the truest form, like the most girl dinner, girl dinner. Okay, I'll stop saying that. You've ever seen? Let me show you. There she is, she's beautiful. Okay, and now, girl dinner. We have pizza rolls and chicken nuggies. The pizza rolls are actually from Snow Days. They do like these healthy versions of pizza rolls. And then I bought this buttermilk ranch today. I think I showed you guys. And I'll have that. And I have a little bit of barbecue sauce too that I'll eat with as my dipping sauces. I just put up my Presque Isle video. It's such a random vlog, I feel. Oh, it's just like all over the place and I also it was the most minimal effort But just like having fun vlog that I've made but now I'm gonna chop up some of these bell peppers To use as a dipping vehicle for the Lubna So I say it oh, whatever and I'm gonna finish watching this episode and get ready for bed Good morning guys I just requested my uber it is three minutes away I am going to pack up my food we've got the bell peppers and this really cute stasher bag my phone is acting really weird it's showing my location it's like showing my exact location to be blocks away from where I actually am my phone's been doing that lately. It's not even doing like, oh, you're in this general area. It's showing like completely zoomed in at a precise location that is over a 10 minute walk from where I am. I don't know why it's been doing that. Anyway, I've got the pumpkin perfect bar. We've got the cottage cheese bowl I made last night. We've got the dipping sauce for the bell peppers. And then we have Leftover girl dinner from last night. Ooh, my battery's dying. I think I have my charger. And then we're gonna throw in... My battery died, so now I'm using my phone. But then we're gonna throw in... You know what? I don't want this one. This energy drink. Okay. I just doused myself in my Baccarat perfume because I feel like... That's just like a guaranteed compliment getter. And I feel like getting compliments today. Let's throw all this in my lunch bag. And then let's head out. I'm using my little propolis spray from Peak. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. Listening to a podcast, Skinny Confidential. It's one about dentistry. 
I don't remember, I don't have time to look it up which one it is, but it's dentistry is in the title. It's all about oral health. That's been interesting to listen to this morning. Okay, let's go. I've been sitting in this room for over an hour now, but I'm at my hotel. I forgot to charge my battery, so it's probably gonna die on me. Look at my view. I always have the best view at this hotel. I cannot get over it. Forever grateful for this view. It's gonna die on me again. It's already giving me the warning sign. I need to charge this. We're going outside, we're going for a walk. We're gonna get some matcha, maybe go to a thrift store, and just walk, and I will talk to you guys when I get back. It's so bright in here. And of course the AC machine thing starts right as I start talking. But we're gonna go get coffee. I'm thinking of doing something different than I normally do. I might go over to, I forgot the name of it. It used to be contraband coffee and now it's something else. But they have good stuff. And I think that's what I want. And I'm gonna go walk. It's so funny San Francisco, it's like 50 something degrees. So you see people walking around in like puffy jackets but then also people walking around in tank tops. It's just California for you. So I'm gonna change my leggings really quick. I slept eight hours straight. I had an appointment with my doctor this morning so I had to wake up at like six, but it was a really nice appointment, like phone call appointment with my doctor. I just slept so good. Last night, my phone ended up dying when I was at Joe the Juice, so that's why I didn't like film as much yesterday. I was an idiot and forgot to bring my phone charger with me. I bought this new phone charger and I really need to get into the habit of always having it with me, but I want Joe and the Juice again. One thing I have to do, I ran out of memory on this card, but one thing I have to do, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, my meeting with my doctor, I have to cut out sugar. Like I have to really cut it out. So that's what's been causing like the GERD issues, part of it. And it's, I've got like inflammation coursing through my body right now. I'm sure you guys can tell, and I've talked about this before, but my face has been really puffy and that's been something I've been struggling with lately is how puffy my face is. Like editing my San Francisco vlog of when Jade and I went on our little like road trip, fun day, whatever. My face, I was like, what is wrong with you, Vera? And I've just got inflammation. My joints have been killing me. My knee is like, it hurts so much, if, especially if I've been sitting or had it bent for a long time, killing me. Sciatica pain has been out of control. So I just have to like torch the inflammation that's going on in my body right now. And a big part of that is cutting out sugar. My sugar consumption has just snowballed in the past year. It started with getting the sugary Starbucks drinks. And then I think I just normalized consuming sugar and like so. Soda. I started drinking soda, which I never do other than Olipop like sodas with like real soda with sugar And it's just like I said it it snowballed and created a monster and I've got to get it under control That has been like a big contribution to my problems lately. We're gonna go get a coffee. No sugar Although I kind of want a Vietnamese coffee. I don't know with the condensed milk it, I, I think it, they are pretty sweet, aren't they? This is gonna be a process because I got so used to eating so much, but let's go, let's get outside. It's beautiful out there. Look at that city. Oh, let's go. sit here all day long look this is just ideal scenario for me my favorite city behind me it looks so far away in the video it's crazy to think that where all those buildings are i've walked literally from downtown over where the buildings are to here so many times it looks so far away and it is i'm just watching these ladies throw sticks for their dog Still watching the seals plop in and out of the water. I love the zoom on the iPhone too. I have to use the restroom and the closest restroom is in there. 
yeah in those white buildings. I'm not gonna walk over there. So I'm gonna need to go back soon. I kind of want Joe and the juice again, craving it. But I also would need to go to Whole Foods, so I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. I could do both. I'm in the self-driving car. I don't know why it creepily feels natural. It just does. I don't know why I'm a freak. interesting is the um like the cross sections of different cars and how it knows to wait for its turn that's something that's pretty cool to me like how do you know that it's your turn i think i mentioned this before but what's crazy to me is how when i first started coming to san francisco how i would think it was so cool to see a tesla because that was when teslas were new and that would be like, ooh, the future. And now it's, <laughs> now, 10 years later, it's me in a self-driving car getting a ride to my favorite juice place. <laughs> it's crazy, it's like, where will we be in the next 10 years? I know a lot of people are against this kind of stuff and would never get in one of these cars. And yes, I've seen the videos of like crazy stuff that's happened with people riding in these cars, but there's crazy stuff that happens in cars with drivers bad things i've had bad things happen in cars with drivers so almost there don't forget your phone keys or bag see so i feel fine i feel safe oh see this is an interesting situation we had to pull behind the fedex and we were going to go around it but the bus was pulling out of its stop so now we're going around the fedex truck and waiting at the red light and we're gonna be turning over there because that's where Joe the Juice is. Oh, it's green. Stopping for a pedestrian. <laughs> and I'm gonna get out right over here. Sadly time to leave this beautiful city, but I am coming right back. I'll be back in two days, I'm off tomorrow, and I'll be right back the next day, which thank God for that, because it's just so beautiful here today, and I don't wanna leave, but I get to come right back. Moments like this, I'm just so grateful for my job and what I get to do, and that I get paid to come here and have a routine in San Francisco, like what? And live my best life here? I think I walked eight miles so far today, the Joe and the Juice was so good. My van time is in about five minutes though, so I have to go. I waited too long to get ready and I have to get out the door, so let's go.